Hey guys, so I'm here today to film my eyebrow routine. I really haven't changed my eyebrow routine in like forever, but in April I picked up the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel and so since then I've kind of changed my dip my brow routine. I feel like not a lot of people are talking about the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel, so I kind of wanted to just show you guys how I create these brows. They're kind of fluffy, they're not as intense as like an Instagram brow. I personally think the Instagram brow is on her way out. She's a little much, um, so I kind of want to show you guys how I'm doing my brows now with the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. Before I get started, you should subscribe to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, and I post some pretty sweet content, so you should stick around. I love makeup. I love to talk about makeup. It's what we do here. We do eyebrows. We love eyebrows here. We stand a good eyebrow. So subscribe to my channel, um, and also follow me on Instagram because, like, that's where I post cute makeup pics also. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I do my uh, brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. I am in the shade Medium Brown, which is the same color I have in the uh, Anastasia Dip Brow. I am going to be using Dip Brow a little bit today, just for some extra kind of finishing touches, but you could also just use a small brush on this product for the same thing. So before I kind of get into what I think about the product, um, actually, let me let's read the claims. So according to Sephora, this is a highly pigmented brow gel with long-lasting waterproof formula for creating fuller looking defined brows like dip brow pomade in a gel form. Um, I have been using this since about April, like I said, and this definitely is exactly that. It's a dip brow in a gel formula. Uh, so before I kind of get into breaking down the differences between these and how I feel about it, um, I will insert a clip now of me putting it on my face. Okay, so I have my foundation, my powder, and my uh, makeup on. I am going to show you the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. Now, I have the shade Medium Brown, but I would recommend going a shade lighter just because, I don't know, it goes on really intense. This is the color I have in Dip Brow, but I'm going to swatch them next to each other just so you guys can kind of see the difference. This is the uh, Anastasia brow, Dip Brow Gel, and this is the Dip Brow. As you can see, the Dip Brow, you're just able to kind of do lighter strokes, whereas this is just going to go on heavier. So what I do, what I'm going to do, is comb through my brows. You don't really need to do this step. This step I'm going to do right now is kind of like my, if I'm feeling funky, I want a little bit something extra step. So I'll put a little bit of Dip Brow on my brush. And then I will uh, basically wipe it off and I will just do, let me zoom you in actually. So what I will do is look at my brows and I'm just going to create a line underneath the front of my brow, just like that. You can see it's super subtle, but it's there. See, this one got a little bit darker, so I'm just going to take my finger and kind of tap over it. <laughs> then I'm going to take, that's just kind of so that I know where my dip brow needs to fall, because the thing with the brow gel like this is it can get a little bit messy. So then I'm going to take my dip brow, take it out, and I'm going to scrape all the ever living hell of product off of the tube because I definitely find that this is way too pigmented and then you're going to take a super soft hand you're going to feather in I like to start kind of a third of the way in the brow like you can already see how intense that is and I kind of take it and I drag it through my brow and then I go back to the front at the end and kind of wiggle it at the base so that I can get up to that line that I created and kind of feather it out. So now you can see that took me 10 seconds, but look at that eyebrow compared to that eyebrow. Like she is a whole different woman. And so I'm going to re-dip and do the same thing on the other brow. Now that that is on, 
you can see that this eyebrow it looks like I brought it down a little too far in the front so I just take it like you can carve out your brows but I'm just not a carve out my brow kind of girl I don't like adding extra product around my brows I always do my eyes first and I just find a q-tip works just as fucking well so I'm just going to take a q-tip and just kind of clean up that line and also anywhere kind of above my brow where I got a little messy. This is the thing with brow gels is they can get a little bit messier but and I'm just going to re kind of stamp that line. Now there are some parts of my brows like right here that are sparse so you can take a brow brush and actually just take a little bit of the product kind of on the wand. Now I always run it on my hand first because again it comes off really dark and I'm just going to fill in those sparse areas like right here. And I have and right there is pretty sparse for me. You can kind of do a little bit in the top here. Now look at those brows. They're beautiful. They're bold. They're fantastic. So that's all she wrote. I will zoom out and kind of show you what they look like when I, I'm going to finish my face and I'll show you what they look like. So this is what my eyebrows look with my whole face done. As you can see, I feel like when you first put them on and when you look at your eyebrows really close up, you're like, um, they don't look that great. But like on my face right now, I am not mad. The inner part of this brow I could have done better, but like that's user error. Brows are sisters, not twins, okay? Um, but overall, I think they look really good. I like the color. And like honestly, I used to be such a dip brow girl and dip brow takes, just it just takes a more effort, more time, more finesse to make it look not like a blocky Instagram brow, which I totally used to do, but I'm kind of over that now. And I love that with this, I can just kind of wipe off the tube. If I don't want to, I don't have to do the extra steps where I add a little bit of extra definition. I can just put this through my brows and my brows look so full and beautiful. Now, if you don't have full brows, this might not work for you. It's not the color will deposit on the skin, but I'm not sure if it'll look as good or as fully done with a couple swipes as it does on someone with uh, fuller brows like I have. But regardless, I am obsessed with these brows. I'm obsessed with this product. As you can see, I've had it for um, a while. All of the logo and stuff are wearing off. I think I bought this at the last... Uh, VIB sale, which was probably in April, and so it's July now. So I've been using it for a couple months and I'm loving it. Now I will say this probably dries out and goes bad more than Dip Brow because Dip Brow has, let's see. Oh wait, Dip Brow has four grams or 0.14 ounces of product in it. This has 4.4 grams or 0.15 ounces of product in it. So this actually somehow has the same amount of product. I definitely thought this was going to be a lot less. So, I mean, because it's a liquid, it will probably dry out a little bit faster than Dip Brow. But, I mean, I've had it since April and it's not drying out at me at all, at all yet. So that is exciting. Let me look at the price difference. So they're both $24 also. So it's not even like you're getting a deal one way or the other. I just think that this is... A really great product. I've never found an eyebrow gel that works this well. Um, I guess you could say it's kind of similar to like Gimme Brow by Benefit, but even that I didn't think it had this much color deposit. That was more of just like a slightly tinted gel personally. I haven't used it in years though, so maybe I'm wrong, but I definitely think that this brow gel is revolutionary. Did I just say that? Like it holds them in place. It fills them in beautifully. It gives me just like everything I want in a brow gel and I'm obsessed. So this is kind of a short video but I thought you guys would enjoy seeing how I did my brows and kind of how great this is because I feel like I haven't really seen anybody talking about the dip brow gel and like she deserves more hype than what she's getting and I definitely prefer her to the dip brow. Um, just for that more like if you find that when you're using dip brow you 
feel like you have a heavy hand and then you're after the fact you're like okay like my brows look good but they look a little intense which is what I used to do this is definitely kind of your saving grace because you can do just you can literally make your brows look natural and fluffy without kind of going overboard like this one I will say remember to scrape off the brush maybe buy a shade lighter than what you are in your dip brow because I definitely think I could go a shade lighter just because of how intense it is it would probably be a little bit easier to use in a shade lighter and their shades are very like compact like there's not a big like between light brown and medium brown I'm sure it's not that huge of a difference so it probably work for me but yeah I'm obsessed with these brows let me know down below what you think if you've tried the Anastasia dip brow if you have another brow gel that you think is bomb let me know down below thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time bye